Sometimes the January transfer window is a point of luxury, a time where you'd love United to make some more signings to improve the season, but it's not really a necessity. This January is a bit different after what was a systematic failure in the summer by United to strengthen in key positions, which is now causing huge problems this season. So what I want to do in this video is run through what I would consider a dream situation for United in the January transfer window. Maybe it won't happen, but I want to run through it anyway, and I want to hear from you what you think the dream situation would be in January. Before we do start, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down below, get involved in the community. But let's get into this one. Something I want to run through before I do begin is what United need in January does not change even if Solskjaer is replaced. Because that's been the big problem. Between managers, we've sort of chopped and changed and given new managers powers to sign the players they want. It's created a massively unbalanced squad. What United need this January, definitely a central midfielder and definitely reinforcements up front, does not change if we get a new manager. And that's why that director of football is so important in keeping that vision in place. And that absolutely has to happen. Now, of course, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that central midfield is United's biggest weakness. I said it during the summer. It was the one position that we needed to strengthen first. And it's the one position we didn't strengthen. And that's before we let Herrera and Fellaini go. And Herrera was so crucial in playing a midfield three that we've struggled to play it without him. But James Madison is my ideal signing in this situation. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of yours. He would slot perfectly into a midfield three if you played a 4-3-3 with McTominay at the base, Pogba as left central midfielder and Madison as a right central midfielder. That would be the most balanced midfield United have had for a long time. And not only would his style of play suit United in terms of he's great with the ball at his feet, he's a playmaker, he's wonderful at set pieces. And set pieces have been such a problem for United, but we would have a proper corner taker, a proper free kick taker. No offence, Rashford, but get as far away from my free kicks as possible. And Madison would make such a huge difference to this United midfield. We should have gone for him in the summer. Everybody knows that. Or we should have signed Bruno Fernandes and Sod knows what happened there. But nothing happened in the end and United were left short in midfield and the problems are on the surface for everybody to see. Fred isn't doing enough, which is a shame because I backed Fred to really improve this season, but he really isn't doing it. Matic is just old and needs to be shipped on. Pop has been injured, McTominay's improved. Pereira, I don't think is good enough to start every single week. Madison would change that. Now, of course, why would Madison leave Leicester if they're chasing for a top four finish and United are scrapping for mid-table? We need to see what happens between now and January to see whether this has any chance of happening in January. It's such a hard window to make key signings in because players... I don't think really want to come in halfway through a season. It's not really a new fresh start for them. And at United right now, we're just so down in the dumps that things need to improve. And of course, if Leicester is still chasing that top four spot like they are now, then Madison probably won't want to leave. But Madison, for me, just ticks so many boxes as to why he'd be the perfect midfield signing for United. And he's Premier League proven as well, so it takes away that risk that you would have with someone like Bruno Fernandes. So that would be my ideal dream central midfield signing. I think a midfield three of McTominay, Pogba and Madison could do quite a lot together. But let me know what you think about that. If there is one central midfielder United are going to sign this January, who do you want it to be and why? As much as we needed a central midfielder and still do, it's obvious that we need a striker as well. Now, I do stand by Solskjaer's decision to let Lukaku and Sanchez go. I think neither of them suited the club, neither of them wanted to be at the club and getting rid of them and getting their wages off the bill is helping us move forward and start this rebuild. But Martial's been injured. Rashford's been bang out of form past the first game and Greenwood apparently isn't ready to start the Premier League games because Solskjaer's not starting him. So we're left desperately short up front. And in January, I'm pretty confident we'll make a signing up front. Who will that be though? Mario Mandzukic? We link with the Juventus striker, seasoned veteran professional. But is he really going to change our fortunes up front? Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised to see us link with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's going to become a free agent at the end of December and he might be, what, 38? But again, I would not be surprised to see United linked to him. 
But the player in a dream situation I'd love to see us sign is probably Erling Haaland. The 19-year-old was given his debut by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Mulder, and since then, he's just gone on to become a goal-scoring sensation. Playing for Salzburg right now in the Austrian Premier League, or whatever it's called, scored a hat-trick on his Champions League debut. But at 19, he looks like an absolute powerhouse. I'm pretty confident that he's going to go to a major club this summer. So maybe our only chance really of getting him is by going big in January. Again, why would Haaland want to leave Salzburg for United? I think that much is obvious. But it, I suppose it all depends on whether Salzburg managed to get through the Champions League group stages. But Haaland at six foot two is... Imagine Lukaku, but you can actually play with the ball at your feet. That's the sort of striker that Haaland is. Can play off his left foot, his right foot. He's powerful. He can dribble. He really looks like he's going to be absolutely world class in the future. And dropping him into a side, and maybe the Solskjaer factor would be why he would join United. But United needs strengthening up front. Whether that's Mandzukic, Ibrahimovic, anybody else. Haaland, I don't know. But in a dream situation, Haaland looks like the real deal. And I'd love to see us go after him. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below as well. So what could United's starting 11 look like after January if we do make some of these signings? Take a look here. It's amazing, I think, how much just two signings could transform the look of our team because that team right there, if it started the season, you'd be very confident of it finishing in the top four. Madison comes in, makes that midfield balanced. McTominay at the base with Pobre at the left means he can go forward and Madison on the right as well. That back five, I'm confident in that back five. Maguire will get better and better with each game as he becomes our leader. And Lindelof, well, he's got Twanzebe biting at his heels now. So one of them is going to be our long-term centre-back, hopefully. Let's see who it is. And Wan-Bissaka, we know how good he's been. And up front, I've dropped Rashford there. Now, Rashford shouldn't be playing every single game for United. It's clear he's not ready for that yet. And it's understandably so. He's 21. He shouldn't be United's leading man. But he is at the moment, and he's massively struggling. Martial being injured, that's really not helped. And Dan James, having a wonderful start to his season, can't do it on his own. But having Martial fit there, having James fit, having someone like Haaland up front, there's a lot of pace in there. There's goals in there. There's versatility in there. That 11 looks so much more balanced than the 11 we've currently got at the moment, even if everybody's fit. But I want to know what you think about that. Let me know if you would be happy if that was United's starting eleven going into the second half of this season. But surely you'd have to be, because it's so much better than the one we've got now. Look, we all know the January transfer window is difficult. The only reason we signed Juan Mata is because Chelsea wanted to sell him. Nemanja Vidic and Patrice Evra were January signings, but they became stars at United. They didn't really change a starting eleven straight away. Could we do that with Madison and maybe someone like Haaland? I don't know, but United need transfers in this January window. We need to make signings. I don't know whether we will or not. That's something different altogether. But on paper, the problems are clear. The areas we need to strengthen are very clear. And for me, Madison is the clear option in central midfield. And someone like Haaland could transform the shape of our attack and the options that Solskjaer has. Let me know what your ideal January transfer window would be in the comments below. But if we sign Madison, even Madison on his own would make such a big difference. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new as always. Till next time though, take it easy.